think these dogs were sheep they keep eating our oh, grass a beautiful uh, apple tree here and all oh, the fruit is on the floor I'm not going to be picking up any of those apples leg out Mont leg out good boy I'm not going to eat any of the apples because they all look like they've got like bugs inside them I almost found one so I'm just showing you the um The remains of the bathhouse. I'm going to be looking at the sides of the stones shortly. There's a nice half moon one there, which I'm interested in. Never really bothered looking at the stones before here. I've looked at them a little bit around that area over there and I found a pig stone. Leg out, Rome. Good boy. Leg out. Um, but I can see looking at it. Some interesting pig blocks there. They kind of look a bit out of place. But very um I dare say it's been re rebuilt in places. Here's a nice water channel. The river is just through the gate, just there. And some of those stones were lined the river bank, the river bed rather. Probably three times bigger than these ones, and those are quite big. So I'm here at Ribchester to try and find some fish stones. Alfie says that's a fish stone. Is that a fish stone, Alfie? It's got a bit of a curve on it. Monty's enjoying eating all the dandelion roots. I can't understand with such a, um, an important site like this, which it would be really, isn't it? I mean, there's not so many Roman places left in England now. But they're allowing all this... Um, destructive ivy and plants to just run wild in the um you know, like dandelions so many plants what could add to the destruction of the site and the stones really does need a little bit of care this place and look at the the ivy and the grass growing down and this it's going to destroy it bloody weeds once that once they get into the uh, the bricks hey pull some of that grass off yes I know Alfie we're just tidying it up a little bit Bob we're just tidying it off a bit. Look at this stuff there. All oh, needs to come off that. Um, no, Alfie, that wasn't a fish stone, darling. That's too big. Right, so now we're going to get my bag and we're going to do some measuring. We've had a walk round. We've had a walk round. And the dogs have had a good chew. Yes, this stuff needs to come off though. Right, time to I'll look for some fish stones, can't find any, which is a bit of a disappointment, really. I would have thought I'd you see what you got to remember as well. A lot of these stones are in that wall there, so when you come to a site like this. Not only have you got to look at these walls, but you've got to look at these walls as well. And already I've spotted a nice uh, snake design just there, part of the part of the construction of that wall. I don't know when that wall was built. Quite early, I should imagine. There's a nice snake design. 
Probably very early foundations, those. The saw's still behind us. St. Winifred, so I thought I'd take them out around the front. I've done it back to front here because I wanted to show you the um, the granary, the Roman granary. So we've just done that. So I'll be joining the images together. And I found just keeping the. Just looking at the beautiful stonework. Go. Um, we've got a nice village hall and just next door to the village hall is the museum, the Ribchester Museum. But I've shown all that on my other films and on my other media. I just thought and I photographed inside St Winifred's. just thought I'd just um, do a quick video of outside. Give you some idea. Now I've not really researched this place. So it's St. Winifred's in Ribchester if you wish to research it yourselves. It's a little bit bit new for me. But there's an interesting, uh, you know, when you start looking at the symbols of things, that's when it gets really important and interesting. Look at the windows. What can you see? Got the crosses, got the flowers. And the top window, you got the Star of David. Wait a minute, Mont. Good boy. Let's see what we've got on this window. I'd need to come on a sunny day. I have been on a sunny day and photographed it, but I'm not really bothered about it. I mean, I'm just, um, like I said, I'm just looking at the stones. Look how red those stones are. Colours. So I might as well keep it rolling because my film's nearly, nearly nearly off now. Come on. So I'll just take you by the I'll just take you by the museum and show you the pillars. Come on, good boy. So you can usually park outside the museum. It's only a small museum, but it's got quite a lot of information. It's packed with um, it's packed with the old stones. Lots of Roman pillars. Some interesting. I'm not going in today because it looks like it's closed anyway. But I have shown this numerous times in the past. You can see, uh, wait a minute, Ron, goodbye. You can see the interesting work. That looks natural, but obviously that doesn't. 
So it's important to look at the stones, you know, because they are quite interesting. Ah, you eating? So that's interesting. That's one of those um, water pipes, gully pipes. Just looking at the interesting pebbles inside there. The little stones. It's like it's cement, doesn't it? Another one there. So we're at St. Winfrid's in Ribchester. Oh, with the dogs. Beautiful little quaint church. And uh, I'll just show you with the Roman baths. That's where we've just become from, the Roman baths. But um, around the corner from the, the Bull Pub is the church. And you have to go through past the church to get to the other part of the Roman part of Ribchester which is like the granary. So you have to go past the church hall. You have to go past the church hall and through a little gate and just behind this wall is the granary. That's where they made all the bread and beer and whatever Rome has made so I've just, I've just gone for a quick walk round actually round the uh, churchyard there was just something that I needed to check out there we are it's very quiet because it's coronavirus so what I've done is I've brought the cart all the way around no I'm mad. Just park up there, come through this little gate, immediate right, through another little gate, walk along here. Obviously when it's not Corona, it, uh, it's very busy. But you can see the blocks and they are exactly the same near enough as what's down at the baths. I dare say that one there is one megalithic yard, and so are the rest. Those, however, look a little bit bigger. Go on. You can see the. You can see the water channel. Like a drain pieces of stone like we've got over at the baths and that would have run all the way around I should imagine and eventually what they would have sent the, the waste or whatever the waste water down to the river A 
everything looks overgrown now it looks very neat and tidy but obviously with the coronavirus everything's been affected everything's been affected I just thought I'd come down today try and find some nice fish stones or some unusual stones I brought my megalithic yard rod out with me but I've chosen to use the tape measure instead a bit easier to use with the dogs right wait a minute dogs I'm just gonna wait I'm just gonna photograph this for everybody So that's what the granny array would have looked like. So this being the drain, I should imagine. I don't know where the towers are. Or if there was over there somewhere. 